What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. Tropical Depression 3 has officially developed according to the National Hurricane Center. We have all the information for you right here. Maximum sustained winds are currently 35 miles per hour, is moving west at 20, uh, 21 miles per hour. The minimum central pressure is 1,009 millibars right here. Here's the discussion and outlook. At 11 a.m., the center of tropical depression 3 was located near latitude 11 degrees north and longitude 40.3 west. It is moving at 21 miles per hour once again. It is expected to be strengthened into a hurricane in the next few days. Here is the cone that we're going to go ahead and pull up right here. Here's our forecast cone. This is expected to strengthen into a tropical storm by the end of today and gradually develop, according to the NHC, into a hurricane and then hit the Lesser Antilles and then enter the Caribbean Sea. Right now, they're calling for an 80 mile per hour tropical, uh, sorry, an 80 mile per hour hurricane. However, I've been looking at models and they're in anticipating something potentially a little bit stronger than that. We'll have to keep an eye on it as time continues to go on. We're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the co uh, contents we got going on that is working with this thing. What we have here is the global sea temperatures, 28 plus degrees all over the place from where it is right now in the Atlantic Ocean all the way through the Caribbean Sea. More than enough warm water to fuel itself. If we take a look at the ocean heat content where it's about to enter, it's entering into an area of about 100 to 125 OHC. So that's going to definitely tap into that and potentially cause this thing to intensify at a quicker rate than anticipated. And once it enters the Caribbean Sea, it's still an area of around 75 to 100 OHC. So it definitely has enough energy to maintain itself the way it will. If we take a look at the shear, the reason the NHC is calling for this to weaken around the Caribbean Sea is because the wind shear here is a little bit unfavorable. It's around 30 to 40 knots by the time you get uh, west of Puerto Rico right there. This is where this is right there, right here. Right now, it's in an area of around 15 to 20 knots or so, so nothing too bad as of right now. So it's definitely taking its time to organize and strengthen. So we're going to go ahead and next show you the track models and then go to the intensity. The track models, there's less of a split now. Now, almost every model has this entering the Caribbean Sea, including the NHC forecast cone. Only the HMON and AVNI have this thing doing something different right here. But yeah, the H Wharf, as H Wharf, AMI, TVCN, all these models have this impacting somewhere between Domin uh, Dominica and s somewhere in the Windward Islands over here. So that's what we got going on right here. And if we take a look at the intensity models, majority of the models do have this as a hurricane. Some have this around Category One, Category Two strength. Others, including the H Wharf, has this as a major hurricane up to Category 4 strength right here. That is a little bit outlandish at this time. However, I could definitely see a Category 2 or Category 3 scenario if it uses all its ingredients correctly. Now we're going to go ahead and pull up some model runs right here. And this is the H Wharf right here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to show you that a little bit later. But we're going to go ahead and start with the HMON, then go to uh, then go to some of the other runs, and then we'll show you the H Wharf. The HMON, as of right now, it's organizing, developing, right here, taking its uh, taking its time, strengthens into a Category One hurricane right there. It does start to weaken a little bit due to the wind shear, and it's kind of uh, it's kind of moves out to sea as some of, as the minority of models are calling for this to do so. And base so basically, what we're looking from the HMON basically a minimal category one hurricane and then it starts we and it starts weakening due to wind shear and, and it drifts out to sea we're going to go to the show you the hafs uh, a right here and we're going to go ahead and show you that as you can see it's trying to organize develop start strengthening after that starts potentially strengthening into a hurricane in the next two to three days right here and then it starts to really maintain its intensity as it's approaching the lesser antilles right here it looks like it looks like it's either going to make a slight miss or it's going to make a direct impact to the northern Antilles Islands over here. Maybe the Virgin Islands is around a mid-range Category 1 hurricane right here. Definitely something we absolutely need to keep an eye on right here, but definitely and definitely something we need to take seriously is now the NHC is calling for a hurricane to impact. And then you have this thing right here, which is the HAFSB right here, which is organizing, developing, strengthening into a hurricane the next two to three days, similar to the HAFSA right here. And then it, it once again maintains around category one intensity, makes land, uh, makes landfall in one of the Windward Islands right there, and still maintains its intensity as it enters the Caribbean Sea, even though it's starting to enter into more sheer 
right there. Now we're going to go ahead and show you the H wharf that is going on. And the H wharf is an, it has been a bit of an outlier, so please keep that in mind. But the H wharf has this organizing and strengthening into a hurricane in the next two days or so. It takes some time to consolidate, and then it starts to really ramp up in intensity as it enters that area of better OHC. And then you see this thing really. Basically, you see this thing ramping up. Look at all these winds right here. The pressure is 957 millibars. I'm going to go ahead and pluck a sounding from over here. And we're looking at winds on the surface around 110 knots, which is about 125 miles per hour, according to what I am looking at right here. And then it, it, and then it impacts many of the lesser Antilles, including Dominica and Guadalupe right here. And then it starts to head towards Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands over here. So definitely something we have to keep an eye on. Right here, we are looking at a potential June, a uh, very rare June hurricane scenario right here. We also have another area of interest, Invest 93L, that is starting to develop, starting to organize right there. We're keeping an eye on that as well. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.